What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about silver and also gold and how they're holding up during the peak of uncertainty. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stack in Design, as well as the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tee available in three different colors. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today, ladies and gentlemen, marks one week until election day. So anybody who has been keeping up to date with my videos over the last couple of days will know what I've been talking about. About a week ago, I posted a video talking about what could potentially occur post-election, soon after, in the near future, post-election. And then a couple days ago, I talked about pre-election and talking about the uncertainty, economic uncertainty, 45 days roughly before election day. And I was talking about how we're coming up on the one week until election day mark. And you can consider this video to be part three. I want to talk about it today because 45 days before election day is when the uncertainty really starts to build. People start getting a little bit nervous, they get a little bit tense, they get a little bit uncertain. They get scared, standoffish. And a lot of people begin to sell off. And this goes for the stock market, this goes for potentially the precious metals. And I was really curious to see what would happen during the peak of uncertainty, which is one week before election day, which is today. Now, as for the silver and the gold, it's actually pretty interesting because surprisingly, or at least surprisingly to me, neither of the two metals have really moved at all. Maybe they've gone up or down a couple of pennies, but I've been saying it for how many weeks now? Silver being pretty much stuck in the $24 range. Silver has been $24 and change for several weeks, potentially over a month. I remember in mid-September, it dropped from $27 to the $24 range. And ever since then, it's been pretty much stuck. We saw it get its head right above water. It surpassed the $25 mark. And within an hour or two, it dropped back down to the $24 range. And that's really all that it's done. I was really curious to see what silver and gold would do today especially or over the next six or seven days i really want to see because i haven't been stacking for all that long it hasn't even been three years this will be my first time going through economic uncertainty from a silver and gold stacking perspective this only happens every four years i've only been stacking for not even three this is first time for me so i was really curious to see what would happen and the current spot price of silver as I'm recording today's video is, you guessed it, about $24 and change. It really hasn't moved much at all over these last couple of weeks. And now as for gold, we're looking at roughly $1,900 bucks, and it's pretty much been fluctuating between the 1880 and 1920 range for the last couple of weeks. So similar to silver, Gold hasn't moved very much at all. Now, for me personally, why I believe that this is the case would be when it comes to silver and the gold, wealth preservation, a lot of people, quite like myself, maybe like you as well, we load up on the silver and the gold during uncertainty. That's why we gravitate towards silver and gold because we don't know what's going to happen to the dollar bill 5, 10, 15, 20, 50 years from now. Obviously, it's taken some punishment, but over these last couple of weeks, last couple of months, to my understanding, not a whole lot of printing has been going on. A small number of people have been returning back to work. That's good news. That's a good sign. You see, if this were snowballing and getting bigger and bigger and worse and worse and worse, I think that would be an indicator that the dollar bill is going to get really punished, which sounds like common sense, but not a lot of people see the bigger picture. 
They just look at everything at face value, no pun intended, coins. But I also wanted to talk very, very quickly about the stock market because unlike silver and gold, stock market has been dropping a little bit. But what I like to do is compare a variety of different individual stocks. And I also look at the S&P 500 just to get a little bit of an indicator of what's going on. Because at the end of the day, I'm not really too big into the stock market. I like to pay attention to it. Same reason I like to pay attention to the real estate market, the general state of the economy, the unemployment numbers and everything else. I try to gather as much information as possible, even if the information has to do with a market that I have little to no involvement in or plan on staying as far away from as possible. I still pay close attention because oftentimes all the markets follow the same trends. One goes up, the other ones might not go up just yet, but a couple days, a couple weeks go by and they start going up and same thing if it starts going down. Oftentimes they follow the same trends. So I try to pay attention to everything because typically it could be a little bit of an indicator of what's to happen next in the market that you are affiliated with. So anyway, back to the stock market. I wanted to talk about this because a lot of the stocks that I was looking at, I was just pulling up random stocks just to see what they've been doing over the last week. And over the last week, many of them are down between 1% and 5%, which I know might not sound too big, but if we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of dollars here, going down 1%, 2 3 4 5% could be a pretty big ding. Now, when it comes to the S&P 500, we're looking at about a 1.6% decline over the last week. Now, again, I don't know how many of you are too big into stocks, I'm not that much of a stock market guy either, but I wanted to showcase this because that's where the uncertainty is most evident. That's where it's highlighted. A lot of people sell off their stocks and the same could be said about silver and gold potentially. Again, this is my first time during a presidential election involved in the silver and the gold. So it's a first time for me. I just wanna see what's gonna happen. I just want to observe. I'm sitting on the sidelines right now. I'm just a mere spectator. Just keeping my eyes peeled, paying attention to everything, and hopefully, with my fingers crossed, hoping for the spot price of silver and or gold to drop. I don't care if it's a small percentage. I don't care if silver goes down just a couple of bucks or potentially five bucks. I don't care if gold comes down. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks. I'm hoping for a dip. I'm not waiting for one, but I'm hoping for one. And I'll tell you why I'm not waiting for one. It's because I don't wait for spot price to do anything. That is not in my control. I'm not waiting for spot price to do anything specific. I'm going to be picking up silver and gold over the next few days regardless. I just wanted to wait it out an extra couple of days just to see if the peak of uncertainty would phase the precious metals. And at this very specific point in time, that doesn't appear to be the case. Now, who's to say this video will be completely irrelevant starting tomorrow? Maybe silver and gold will begin to tank tomorrow or maybe they will start to rocket tomorrow. I have no idea. I'm learning as I go, and I'm just adding some commentary to everything going on. I know it's a very confusing time economically, but the reason I brought this up is because there could potentially be somewhat of a sell-off. Now, when it comes to the silver and the gold, I don't necessarily foresee a massive sell-off anytime in the near future. When it comes to stocks, it could be a little bit different. That's when a lot of people begin to liquidate. A lot of people sell off their stocks just because of potential election results. They, they don't know what's going to happen. They don't know what it's going to mean. They don't know who's going to win. What if one guy wins or the other guy wins? And what's that going to do to taxes? What's that going to do to their financial well-being? What is that going to do to them and where they have their currency or where they have their money? So a lot of people try to play it safe and they sell out of fear, emotional decision, they're not selling due to logic. They're not carefully evaluating what's going on and thinking about things in an objective way and saying to themselves, you know what? This makes the most sense. I'm going to do this. They're not saying that. They're saying, oh my God, what's going to happen? I don't know. I need to sell because I want to hold on to the cash. 
Now they can do whatever they want to do, but oftentimes a large group of people behave that way when it comes to the stock market. According to history, that's just the way it is. And then post-election, typically things begin to normalize and stabilize and then we start to see an uptrend. When it comes to the silver and the gold, I can't sit here and say that I have first-hand experience, which is why I wanted to take a step back and evaluate. I don't like making emotional decisions. I like making logical decisions. So I wanted to gather as much information as I possibly could, and that's what I've been doing these last couple of weeks, and that's why this is somewhat of a part three video. And guess what? There's gonna be a part four, probably sometime before the election. And guess what? There's gonna be a part five after the election. It's like a continuation. As things change, as new information comes in, there's more to talk about. There's more to go over. There's more to cover. There's more to learn. I'm learning as I go. I try to have the mentality where I'm teaching those who are willing to learn, but I'm also trying to learn from those who are willing to teach. By the way, speaking of that, if you have any that you would like to share, head on down to the comments. I learn a lot from the comment section. But moving forward, when it comes to the silver and the gold, at this specific point in time, the precious metals appear to be holding their own. But who's to say that will not change? Who's to say what the next couple of days or the next week or the election results are going to bring us? which is why this is what I'm going to do. I'm obviously going to hold. I ain't parting ways with any of my precious metals. I don't agree with that, I don't believe in that. Only if it were an absolute emergency where I had no other choice would I part ways with any of my precious metals. I've never sold even a silver dime, never in my life. I've never parted ways with any of my silver. Unless of course it was a giveaway or giving a friend a birthday present or something like that. But point being is I've never traded my actual money for cash. I've never been in a position where I needed to do that. And the reason for that is because I don't stack to the best of my ability. I don't go 100% on the silver and the gold. I go about 99%. And the 1% left over is stacking a little bit of cash. Here's the same $75 I use in all my videos. Practically falling apart. There's a reason I do that. There's a reason I'm a little bit of a fiat stacker. It's because during a financial emergency, I would rather grab my cash and use it as a band-aid to help fix the problem rather than having to grab my silver or gold and run to the coin shop, liquidate, pay capital gains tax, and then use the cash. That's too many extra steps. I'd rather keep the cash on hand. So that's why I keep a little bit of cash on the side. But what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of days is I'm still going to be holding on. Spot price hasn't really done anything at all these last couple of weeks. I'm going to be getting some silver. I'm also going to be getting some gold. I'm probably going to get another 10th ounce gold coin. Probably a Philharmonic or a Britannia. Or a Panda or a Kangaroo this time. I'm going to be getting them all regardless. The order doesn't matter to me. But I'm probably going to be picking up another little fractional piece of gold or two. Maybe two 10th ounces. And I'm also going to be getting some more silver. I'm going to keep it generic. Lower premium. Easier to stack. Probably some 10 ounce bars. One, two, three, four, ten 10 ounce bars. I'm thinking about an RCM bar. Never in my life had an RCM bar. And that's something that I've been wanting since pretty much when I first got started stacking silver. Point being is I'm going to be getting some more silver and gold soon regardless. I'm just really curious to see what this peak of uncertainty is going to do to silver and gold, if anything happens at all. There's a good chance that 
for the next six or seven days, silver is still going to be $24 and change. And then post-election, it's still $24 and change. That's a possibility as well. I just had a small feeling that with all of the uncertainty, we could potentially see a little bit of a sell-off. And with more people selling and less people buying, could potentially lead to the premiums coming down a bit. And if that were the case, might be an opportunity to get even more precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a bunch of different websites. And you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500 and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And, of course, the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tea available in orange, gray, and purple, only available this month, a.k.a. for just the next five or six days. So get one while you can. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want everybody to head on down to the comments and let me know, do you think that silver and gold are going to do a pretty good job holding their own during the peak of economic uncertainty during this unbelievably uncertain time where we have a presidential election right around the corner one week away? We have potentially a stimulus update coming in the next couple of days. We potentially have a vaccine update coming in the next couple of days. We have a lot of information coming our way, and we're at a really pivotal point if you think about it. And It's an extremely uncertain time, and a lot of people are unbelievably hesitant and standoffish and, and obviously uncertain and nervous, and people are getting all bent out of shape and making emotional decisions right now and they're selling off when it comes to the stocks they might be selling off a little bit or potentially selling off when it comes to the silver and the gold it wouldn't really appear to be the case at the moment but who knows what the next couple of days are going to bring us let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you tomorrow and remember don't you dare stop smiling peace